Hi, Matt Jespersen from Flowhow. In this short video, I want to show you how to uh, use the automatic report uh, function. I'll not explain or I cannot explain everything in a video, but I will just show the how to use it in general terms. Um, when you have got a project with some results, uh, you always want to um, communicate the results. And one way of doing that is, of course, using the uh, Moldex 3D uh, viewer, or you can use uh, and sharing the important results, or you can use the report. You can take uh, screenshots, or you can try to uh, use the automatic report. If you hit that one, you can choose up here which uh, template you want, you want to use. And this is the default template, the studio general template. If I say this one and uh, hit here, I get, a, I get, yeah, doesn't matter. I get a template or a PowerPoint of all results um, defined in the template. It's very big and maybe with a lot of uh, useless uh, information. But I'll show you how to um, adjust that uh, and make it specific for your needs. Now the power bond has been uh, created and you can find it here in the folder or you can just click it here and it opens PowerPoint and you can have a look at, at the at the what's in the PowerPoint, and you can see it's a very big PowerPoint with, yeah, in this case, one hundred fifty-four uh, slides. And if you have more results like uh, uh, warpits and so on, uh, no, sorry, cooling, it adds even more uh, slides. But what if I don't want so many uh, results in my PowerPoint each time? Then I have the possibility to uh, to make my own template. If I go to the File Explorer on the Moldex 3D Release 17 template, I have this uh, template, Studio General template. This is the template that's um, the basic for creating the, the template or the PowerPoint. So if I go here, up there, File Explorer here, out here, and to the report. Ah. There. I did uh, this one. And now I can compare. And I can explain how it uh, does this. Uh, sorry, I got to have the. Now I have everything, both. So this is how it works. You have some template and within this template, you can add hashtag and a value, for example, or text or whatever. And it looks, this uh, looks into the, the, the simulation or the project and picks, picks out the, the values. If I go to seven and seven here, here, and here you can see this one these values or variables are translated to uh, to the actual values so th this is how it works you just define some text string and it looks up um, it looks uh, in the project and finds the values 
So what you can do now is that you can just, if I took a copy of this one, yeah, just copy um, and uh, open this and said, okay, I only want four. Int here, delete. Then I have a um, one with only four. And of course you can just uh, use the, the things that you want to use. This is one way of doing it. And of course, when I run a new report, it only fills out these four slides. Uh, and then I had uh, this one, the template. There's one thing, if there's, um, see if I can find it on the, re yeah, look here. If you have this check, it looks up in the project. If there's no results, it just deletes the whole slide. So if you have this check together with a, a hashtag and a command, it uh, deletes um, it uh, deletes the slide uh, slide if there's no result. But what if I want to start from an uh, from scratch with a template? Then um, I've just made a small one. And then I can just, one thing is I can copy paste uh, some of the things from these, this template over in a new. It's quite easy and maybe the easiest way because then you know what you get. Um, when you have an image mesh, uh, the size of this text box, um, sizing, defines how big will the picture be. So don't let it uh, adjust according to the text because then you don't get anything. And the same with the image or a video. A video I normally use the same resolution as I use in the screen. So uh, screen set up for the video. So in this case, I use uh, 1920 times 1080. Okay, if I'm in doubt about how to use this, uh, this um, which command, I can go in uh, to this uh, Excel sheet here. And then I can use, say, uh, like here, if I open this one, my own text, then you can see here, I've used, uh, this is for the project, where the project and project name, I just hit, there's a check mark here. So I have a value. This one is, is um, it's possible to do. I can use a value of the project name and then I just type in hashtag value and then uh, copy paste this line with an underscore in between. In. Okay, and you can just do, uh, when you have the, the template, the new template, your own, you just save it on a network drive. And if you go to report, then we have to link to it. Now this was the test. And then I can run this again. I'll just say no, I'll just give it a name, different name. Start, and it starts again, making the report. And now I got the, the report again, it's a very small one, but anyway, and I can open it here and you can see, then I got this was the value of the project. There was something about the material. And then I have an animation. This is a G GIF animation and you cannot m play it here unless it's in presentation mode. Okay, 
that's it for now. Bye-bye and have a nice day.